Hello again, stranger. We're gonna do another review video today. Uh, I wasn't planning on doing it right away, but I, <laughs> one of my friends, colleagues from school said, hey, if you're gonna do review videos like an idiot, I got a video for a review. And this is a video of a bunch of old people from the 1920s. This was filmed during, uh, well, this first one says 1929. Um, I don't know if the rest of them are from that year. I don't, they're, they're at least 90 years old. Um, and some of them might be older, some of them might be newer. I don't know if this is a compilation or what. Um, I got a lot of complaints from the last one, the Olivia Coleman video that I was reviewing a video that I'd already seen that doesn't make it a real review. And yeah, I suppose it is in that part. So I'm searching things up by actually doing a video that I have not seen. Um, I don't think I've seen it anyways. Uh, I'll find out, I guess, won't I? So let's go ahead and get started. This is uh, interviews with elderly people throughout the US from 1929. I guess that's part of the title, so maybe it is all 1929. Uh, let's go ahead and find out. That guy's got a little look. I like that guy's look. The guy on the right. When is that look going to come back in style? Oh, man. I want a hat like that, too. But mostly, I want that beard. Sideburns? Are those sideburns? In fact, do you know what? Huh. Hold that thought. I'll be right back. This is as close as I could get. <laughs> I like it, I might keep this. It's a good look. I'll just fluff out the bits, all right, let's get back to it. All right, we got this old guy talking to another old guy. Look, they have opposite facial hair. <laughs> it's like, if they stand too close together, they'll merge into a full bearded man. Oh my goodness. I've got some hats like that upstairs that are that old. You know they wore those hats because they just didn't brush their hair. They, oh my gosh, I am still not used to this look. Yeah, they wore those hats because they didn't brush their hair. They didn't wash their hair very often. They're old. They just put it up and covered it up. I mean, what are you going to do when you're 80 years old? And it's the early 20th century. Right? All right, we've got two veterans. We have with us today 70 members that are from 80 to 95 years of age. I am 84 myself. In 1861, I enlisted in the War of the Rebellion at Warsaw. And, I, and you thought that the Colonel life expectancy was Camp. 40. We went to Coal Camp, fought the Dutch, and cleaned them out completely. Lost only seven of our men with more than 150 of the Dutch killed. No prisoners were taken on either side. I don't remember we war with the Dutch. Missouri, we had the Do you remember the war with the Dutch? General I need to touch up with my history. The Leave a comment below if you recall a time when the United land. States was at that war with the Dutch. They're probably mercenaries. And pulled off We're horse. talking Civil War. He picked Dutch up mercenaries. And fought with thousands of men around him. Notice how the accent's not the same as it is now. He struck I mean, these people were born almost 200 years ago. American accents have changed since then. South, North, it's all... Branched. A horse pistol. It's a horse pistol. Is there a pistol designed strictly for shooting horses? Even coming below. How old are you? 84. 84. You was in the same the same war. Under the same general. On the same general, General Price. That's a good. Fine old man, too. Good man. Good man he was. Yes, he was. And we there. To stay. Dig those ties. <laughs> we didn't enlist for Quiet, a ducky. month or a year, but we enlisted for the war. <laughs> we lived or, or along the war there. That's right. Having a good time here today? Fine, we're having a good time. Enjoying I might watch this strictly for fashion tips. Had a good dinner, too. <laughs> Quiet, ducky. Oh, shoot. They're about to get turned. Look at that. Imagine doing that in the club nowadays. 
It's very, uh, it's very howdy do, isn't it? Completely devoid of sexuality. Just howdy do, howdy do. Maybe if we return to that style of dancing, there'd be less teen pregnancies, huh? What do you think? Whoa. 100, so she'd be 190. It's a happy day of my life. The first 100 years is the hardest, but I'm sure it is some consolation. I had rather live in California under an oak tree than any other climate. She looks like a judge. I dig the brooch. I wonder how he, she feels about her granddaughter being a flapper. She called her grandma, so I assume it's her granddaughter. Just think. Even the young people in this are long dead. Never mind the old bats. Now those are some moves. Let's bring the waltz back, what do you say? Dude, he's gonna break her if he's not careful. Oh, yeah, back in the chair, back in the chair. Out of breath. 78. I'm not impressed. He looks like a Nazi. Dig that collar though. Let's bring those wide collars back. It's thick, wide. Probably, probably tight, sharp, stiff. I got more adjectives if you want. In the office of a new illustrated evening paper. It was a sensation. Pictures Say he was a theater manager? were printed at least two days after they happened. Nowadays, the illustrated papers print news sometimes a day before they occur. In those days, the theaters were located <laughs> how clever down Broadway in the I wonder how he, what do you think of the internet and Canal Street and Houston Street later on the famous Wellick theater was established at 13th Street and Broadway now one of the greatest developments in the history of Broadway is this famous newsreel theater here the audible events of the day and all the remarkable occurrences of the world are pictured for the education and the amusement of the entire community. It is a most remarkable, comprehensive, and intelligent achievement. I'm the the this guy. final outcome in the history of moving pictures. We have some respect for your and elders. So in connection with this, I hope, ladies and gentlemen, you have seen me and you have also heard me. Nine years later, we have seen and heard you, sir. Age 103. Mr. Cole, what kind of parents did you have? My father. Uh, he'd be 193. My grandmother were Baptist ministers. And my grandmother and my Baptist mother ministers. were members of the Baptist church. What kind of an environment was you raised in? Okay, well, Baptist, yeah. I, I lived Let me guess, with Baptist. my father in different places where he was preaching and tried to check out the sprig of broccoli <laughs> how much of an education did you have it's not really broccoli that's a flower i'm guessing public school in the different towns academy and seminary what habits have you formed i never drank anything and i never don't smoke no school i haven't any bad habits it's what are your change. politics? Well, paid off, didn't it? Republican, no. It used to be before there was a Republican Party. Well, we voted the green ticket. What kind of a world would you have if you could have it Wind. the way you want it? Oh. I would have people honest with each other and do away with their bad habits if they have any. And I guess that's all. What is your outlook for the future? I don't worry about the future. I'm going to live as long as I can, and I'm happy. And 
living. May there be no morning of the bar when you put out to sea. Right, nice I didn't hear what you said. Right. Shake off that hole. You take the platform now. Oh, God. Former U.S. Senator and slave owner. Hello, folks. How you feel? Good this morning? Hope okay. you do. I'm trying to get I'm on the feet again. I'm going to bite my tongue on this one. Feel pretty good. Thankful it's as well as it is. Oh, boys, I'm pleased to see you. I don't know where you come from, but uh, I give you all the welcome I've got to offer you. And I want to tell you that I'm living on the same ground that I've lived on for 75 Wait, long She was years. a former senator? When I come here at 18 Or did it say she was married five. to a senator? I went to Washington 50 years and a little more ago. Former U.S. Senator. Women couldn't even vote then. Not when she was, I'm guessing, 50, 60 years old. Women didn't even have the vote. How was she a senator? Oh my gosh, I need to touch up on my history, I guess. And to think I run a history channel. All right, well, she's something about being a teenage bride. Yeah, there it is. Her old bride. I went to Washington 50 years and a little more ago. I saw all the people around there and been with the presidents. And uh, I learned a great many things up there that uh, I didn't know before. I'll add a little more to it. I was one of the board of lady managers for the Chicago Exposition. And I served my first time in, in Chicago. That was right I after learned the Civil a great War. many things over there. I have been to, I was a delegate to the Tennessee Centennial Exposition. I was a delegate to St. Louis, a, a juror at St. Louis. I think for a North Georgia cracker of my size and age, I've had a pretty good education on that line. She just referred to herself as a cracker. I was a three-year-old is... girl when the Indians were moved from this country to Indian Territory. I have an indistinct recollection of seeing the red men as they went through the woods, for everything was woods nearly at that time. I have a, a distinct impression, if a three-year-old child can have it. Nevertheless, I've been here since that time, and I've seen the march of progress all the way. At, my t at that time, there were, we had only stagecoaches, and we only had horses and buggies. And we had lots of footbag travelers. Now I've seen it come along all this way. And the airplane goes over this, over my house, going on its way. And it's got to be such a common thing, the old girl don't go even out to see if she can look at it. 99. Oh, I was born in Pumpkin Plains, Morris County, New Jersey, July the 27th, 1829. And was brought by my parents to it was like New York right City after Napoleon. the following year. New York City has very materially changed in its appearance from those days. Then it was filled with buildings of a character much lower in height than at present. Now it is with buildings of a massive height and 15 to 20 stories. Oh, 15 to 20. You should see it now. I think the Empire State Building was up at that point. I could be wrong. All sorts of business and seemingly are successful in their undertakings that it may be a lot of to me to remain as long as I may be of use and benefit to my fellow beings and to the city. Is he still employed? Which has always extended to me favors upon favors which I can never forget nor can never repay. 
I'd still be employed at that age. Oh, shoot, we got a train uh, conductor? A steam train conductor. Is that what it is? I gotta start reading the whole title cards. Which one is it? <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, wow. Look at those goggles. I dig those goggles. Dig the hat, too. Hell, the whole outfit. Shh, I'll shut up. Seven years old, I'm not impressed. I ended railroad life as a newsboy. I'm impressed he's still working. On the New Haven this railroad. is just for show. In 1878, I became a yard switchman. The days of the pin and link coupling and the hand and break. I became a fireman in 1881. I've been an engineer for 42 e years. And as this is my last run, I must all oh, okay. say goodbye. So he is employed up until now. He's retiring, I guess. Is that what he implied? I miss those old trains. Not that I was around to see them. I've seen them, but they're like relics. They're museum relics now. They run for show, not for function. Man. Am I shouting? I can't tell. I'm sorry. I'm sorry if I'm shouting. Is that it? Yeah, okay, that's it. Well, that was profound. I mean, it's mind-blowing that... Like, when you think of film, you think of it the 20th, 20th century. It's a 20th century thing, and we're just out of the 20th century. So film, relatively new. But, uh... 1929, you know, uh, synchronized... What's the word I'm looking for? Synchronized soundtrack to the film. It had been around for, like, a couple years. I think The Jazz Singer came out in 1927? I want to say the jazz singer came out in 1927, so it was still relatively new. And it's so neat that they went out and they found all these really old people to capture. Because at the time, they were the oldest people around. And so they're the oldest people on audio recorded film. That's so neat. Uh, it really puts things in perspective. I mean, a lot of those people had been born almost 200 years ago. I mean, 200 years. That's ridiculous. They went literally from horse and buggy to watching airplanes go overhead. I mean, I, there's not much you can say. It's just, it's just overwhelming. Not so sure about that slave owner woman. She referred to himself, herself as a cracker. A, slave, a former slave owner referring to herself as a cracker. That's, that's a bit on the chin. Uh, that's a little... Um... Leaves a bad taste, really. Okay, let's read some of the comments. Uh, let's see, this person says, That 100-year-old woman was born in freaking 1829. Only 14 years before her, the French were beaten with Napoleon. Ha <laughs> ha, Napoleon! Hey, look at that. Uh, 1929. Uh, I think uh, John Adam and Thomas Jefferson were still alive. That's insane that this person on film was alive at the same time as two of our founding fathers. I could be wrong. Let's see. Let me look it up real quick. Wikipedia. Eighteen twenty six. Okay, they died in eighteen twenty six. All right, so separated by three years. My bad. Okay, I feel weird when the, the those elders talk about 1800s like it was yesterday. I mean, that was like, we're in two c centuries later. And not 200 years later, but we're in two different centuries later. Let's see here, Crow Migration says, what a wonderful channel name. Wow, or what, how, not only is 
the footage very good. The sound is very clear, but our 100 year old is doing the waltz. I thought lifespans were getting longer. I mean, there you go. Do you know what? It's preservatives in your, our diet. It's because people are eating junk and medicine isn't extending our life expectancy. They're just keeping kids from dying. And so the numbers look like they're growing. But in reality, we're getting cancer earlier and high sodium diets, heart disease. I mean, pff, people, they had something, they had something good. They had something good going. They had a lot of bad things going. They had something good. All right, that's all I'm going to do. That's all I'm going to say. Um, yeah, 13 minutes. Mid by Northwest says, you'll never be a steampunk as this guy. <laughs> oh, that's great. I might screen cap and show you that one. You'll never be a steampunk as this guy. Is it steampunk if you're just, literally things are actually steam powered? I mean, mm. steampunk is such a stupid trend. It was very, it didn't, it didn't have a lot of uh, extent to it. So I hope you liked the video. Uh, thanks for watching it. Leave a comment below. Uh, if you want to subscribe, go ahead. If you're into this sort of content, whether you're into the reaction videos, or if you're into my more traditional literature and history content, um, I'm not begging you to subscribe. I'm just suggesting it because people do. Um, hit the bell, whatever. Um, yeah, leave a comment below telling me what I, or send me a link to something that I ought to react to if you think I should. Um, I'll have the link to this in this, oh, hey, look at that, more interviews. Okay, we got a sequel, cool. Yeah, leave, leave a comment below telling me what I should react to next. Um, and then you're always welcome in my neck of the woods. Toodaloo.